All right, and hi everyone, and welcome to the video. And in this video, I want to show you the Google YouTube Data API API that is V3. Now, I have developed my own API uh, that is own uh, library so that things can be easy for you guys. So, what this library does, it can download. Uh, it, so basically, it, you can get all the YouTube uh, video title URL. You can get, convert all of that into a Excel file. You can convert that into a JSON file. What do I mean by Excel file? So by just two lines of command, it will uh, create an Excel file with all the YouTube titles and their links. That is really cool. Uh, and in just two lines of Python code with this library. So what are you waiting for? Let's get started and let's learn how to use this library. All right, so let's get started with the video. Uh, here you can see on PyPPy, uh, you can install this library by just a simple command on a spip install ytd uh, video. So that's all you can do. Now, in order to use this library that I have just developed, uh, you need a developer, you need an API key, right? So the way to do that is go to console.developers.com on the Google's website. Make sure you to log in with your Google account and make sure to create a project. Once you're done with that, what you gotta do is go to library, right? So, and basically you gotta search for YouTube so here you can see YouTube Data API V3, right? Write this one and make sure you enable it. Once you're done with that, you need to create credentials. So you can create credentials. Um, so let me, so just go to dashboard and go to credentials and create a credential. I already have created, an, after creating a credential, you will get an API key. Uh, let me just walk you through the steps if possible quickly. So what you can do is create API key and just, and then you just follow the details and you will you would be able to create the data uh, api key so once you have that that's all you need um, by the way the complete step uh, guide or step by step tutorial is also given on my github account uh, so you can follow that as well uh, so now i want to show you what you what else you need so first of all once you have the api key so paste your api key here right so i've done that now whoever uh, channel video you want to get right so what you have to do is basically go to his channel all right and make sure to copy his channel id so the channel id starts from the slash and all the way up to question mark uh before question mark so copy that and paste it right here you can see i've already done that now it's pretty simple if you want to get all the youtube titles uh it's just one line of code so you can create an object known as youtube video and you can say obj.get titles um and it's gonna basically return a list uh right so let me just uh, run that quickly so python3 ohm.py uh, it's gonna take some like uh, two seconds and it's gonna like get all the 400 YouTube uh, videos title and that's amazing. Think about, uh, it, it's gonna take a long time if you have to do it like manually, right? Or web scraping. So for XN, I can say obj dot, just wanna show you the power of this library, what it can do. So I can say obj dot, sorry, it's get title. So, just gonna quickly so um, for X in obj obj dot git title and followed by a colon just gonna say print x um, that's it and I don't know why my IntelliJ is uh, still like not recognizing this properly that's fine let's give it a try so clearing all of that and running that script essentially that we wrote so now i'm iterating over that uh, um, get file that is a list so here you can see list of entire um, all the um, youtube titles right similarly you can get the urls as well so you can say get underscore uh, url right you can uh, refer to the documentation here uh, i have showed everything so for title you can say obj dot uh, get underscore title so get underscore title or get to get the url it's obj underscore get underscore url so here you can see and now clear the screen run uh, run let's run that and every youtube videos um, basically uh, you're gonna get the link for all the 400 youtube videos so here you can see uh, a giant big list of all the youtube videos so if i open any one of them so essentially it opened on the other screen so i can bring it here so here you can see the video started right so that's beautiful uh, we also have a function known as get all so get underscore all 
So again, you can refer the documentation for more details. So we have get underscore image, we have video, then we have something known as uh, get underscore all. Here you can see returns a tuple, right? So now if you run this, essentially, first of all, clear the terminal. Python 3 ohm.py. And let's see what do we get. So each you will get the YouTube name, the link and stuff like that. So here you can see all the YouTube videos. So tutorials on DSB temperature sensor, then it's YouTube link and then the image icon. So everything is in a tuple. So beautiful, you can do that. Now what what one more thing you can do here is pretty powerful. I, I think is basically convert that into an Excel file. So I can say obj dot save underscore Excel. Again, you can refer the documentation here that I have showed you. So save underscore Excel, right? So essentially that's it. And um, let's see if that works. So all of this would be saved on a nice um, Excel file on your computer. So no more web scraping. Um, so essentially if I'm able to, yep, it, uh, so the report has been created. So now let me show you. So there will be a report known as YouTube XLX. So here you can see. So if I open it quickly, so it's gonna take a time because my computer is a little bit slow. Just gonna deny that and it should open up right now quickly. All right, so here you can see. So believe it or not, it's 400 videos on my channel. So so here you can see all the 400 videos, the, the, the link and the URL. So if I make this a little better for you. So here you see, so exception handling in Python tutorial. This is the link and this is the image icon. Everything in an Excel file, beautiful. This is like really great. I mean, you can do this on any YouTube channel. I mean, this is absolutely great. So what else you can do is um, basically you can save it as a JSON. Save underscore JSON, right? Um, so again, you can refer to the documentation, save underscore JSON, right? So Python 3 ohm.py, here you can see. So it's right now processing and uh, within a while if i go to yep now so the report has been created so there will be a json file youtube.json so here you can see that's the json response so i can basically open it in a json formatter and show it to you you can now export this to a database as well since it's a json right I don't know why my sometimes my keyboard does not work properly. Maybe the battery is discharged or something like that. I'm not sure. So you can of course paste it. Uh, this won't work because the JSON is about for 400 videos and this website does not process such a huge JSON. Uh, if I'm not wrong, it will. So here you can see zero exception handling. All the 400 videos there. Um, so essentially they have their link and all their contents so the url you can see everything is there in the json format so even you can do that as well in a beautiful way so that's it for this video uh, this is uh, the youtube api uh, this is a smart library um, known as uh, ytd U uh, ytd video so youtube video essentially it's published on PyPyPy and it's developed by me entire documentation is there um, so hope you will have fun using this and if you have any questions you can reach me out uh, thank you for watching the video and see you guys next time.